Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the Start, End, Terminate, and Finalize tools in Test Shell Studio. By the end of this video, you should understand how to use these tools for controlling your test flow. Every test flow in Studio has at least one Start step. If we delete the Start step or separate these steps from it, those steps will not be executed. We can use multiple start steps in order to create test flows that run in parallel. We can add as many start steps as needed to the test. The end step is used for ending a flow. It has several options. The first option is to end only the branch. For example, in this test we have two branches running in parallel. The left one ends because it fails, but the right one will continue. In this example, I have created a function that lets the user select an end option and invokes it. I now call this function from a test. When a test calls another test as a function, it can do it with continue, new or none execution modes. The default is continue, which means that both calling test and the function are part of the same execution. If a test calls a function in continue execution mode, selecting end test inside the function will end the function, but the calling test will continue to the next step. When we're in continue execution mode, using end execution will end the calling test. This is because in this mode, both tests are part of the same execution. If we change the function call to new execution mode, selecting end test inside the function will end only the function. Selecting end execution will have the same result and also end only the function, since the function is considered a new execution. In both cases, the calling test will continue to the next step. Regardless of the selected execution mode, end all will stop all execution activities immediately. When a run ends after invoking an end step, its status will still be considered completed. If there were any pass or fail results, they will affect the final run result according to the usual logic. Using a terminate step is different since it affects the test status. When a terminate step is invoked at any point, all execution activity stops immediately and the test status is terminated. This can be useful for situations where something causes our run to be meaningless for reporting purposes, for example. It is equivalent to hitting the stop button in the ribbon. The Finalize tool initiates a sequence of steps when the test execution finishes or after an end step is executed during the test run. The Finalize sequence is also launched after ending the test as part of error handling. However, when a run is terminated, the Finalize sequence will not be performed. The Finalize tool allows us to make sure that a certain step sequence is performed whenever the test ends from any reason. The sequence may include required shutdown procedures, closing sessions, and reporting related actions. You can now use the Start, End, Terminate, and Finalize tools to control your test shell test flow. 